Let's talk about Soap's countdown to the new year, baby. We are counting it down. Okay, we were almost in 2013 and we had a couple of things that we had to get across to you guys. So right now, it is time for point number seven in our countdown. And point number seven actually has to do not really particularly or directly with the soap operas. Part number seven actually has to do with the primetime shows, primetime television. ABC, you had a fan base. You had a great fan base that they stuck with you after All My Children and One Life to Live and General Hospital came on. We stayed with you. We came to you to get our news. We came to you and, you know, just watched, you know, regular goofy game shows and whatnot. We came to you at night because we felt safe enough to be with you during the day. So we came to you at night. And you gave us good television. Desperate Housewives, great show. Brothers and Sisters. I actually was not a big Brothers and Sisters fan, but I did see some episodes of Brothers and Sisters. Great show. I just never, you know, unfortunately, I just never fell into it, but another great, great show. We don't have those great shows anymore. Extreme Makeover Home Edition. And it's kind of funny because Extreme Makeover Home Edition is technically, you know, reality. But it was also another great one. However, ABC said, we don't do great. We don't like great. We want nothing to do with great. Get off me, great. All right? I want mediocre. Actually, I don't even want mediocre. I just want bad. Give me all the bad stuff. Let me get the bad. But unfortunately, ABC, when you take all the bad, that's all you have to give to us, the bad. You had great stuff that you were giving us. You, I am sure, and I know this because I was one of them, you had a fan base of some loyal viewers who came to you for everything. Why? Because we were already with you with the soap operas. So why don't we just stick with you? You took the soap operas away, you took the good primetime shows away, and then once again you left us with the bad and tried to force it down our throats. Unfortunately, I don't know if you've ever tried to give a child some medicine that don't taste too good. They usually tend to gargle it back up or spit it back out at you. Well, that's what we did to your shows, ABC. We gargled them up and spit them back out at you. One, and, and, and a couple of them actually even looked like they were pretty decent shows. Pan Am. That was one show that you guys tried to throw at us after you canceled our soap operas and our primetime shows. We didn't care. We didn't watch. We didn't care. Now it's gone. Um, the good Christian bitches. Yeah, we don't want to see them broads. We don't want to see none of them broads. So, gargle, that, gargle you out and spit you out. We're not watching you. 666 Park Avenue. You are not being watched, all right? You are not being watched, okay? And I'm mad at all you actors who really looked at the title of that show and said, oh, this is a good idea. I think I'll act on this one. No, it's not a good idea. It's a horrible idea. It's a horrible show title, and it's a horrible show. I shouldn't, I, you know, I've never actually seen the show, but I know it's not getting any ratings, so that's good enough for me to say it's horrible. Um, let me see, Revenge, that's one I believe you guys have. Um, 
What else? Um, I don't even know. That's the sad point. You guys have all these shows. And I know you... Let me see. The soaps were canceled in... April. April of 2011. And if, yes. I do have a little list here. I do have a little list here of these primetime shows that you have tried to throw at us that we just were not happy. Like, I, like I've already brought up Pan Am. Um, Charlie's Angels. And here's one that I kind of saved for last. I wanted to bring this one up last because this one touches a spot in my body that just makes me mad. Because it kind of goes back to what ABC did with CBS and Big Brother. They saw a network with a show that had some popularity and they said, oh, we can do that. For any of y'all that have no idea what I'm talking about, you heard me say y'all, I'm talking about Nashville, y'all. Nashville, AKA the fake Dallas, okay? I saw the advertisements for this Nashville show. I was so angry. Once again, ABC saw another network, TNT, that had something that was fabulous, and they said, oh, we can do that. They've been trying to throw the country stuff at us for a little bit now. Good Christian bitches, that was a country thing, you know, but... Nashville, I believe I read somewhere that your ratings are already down 28%. You guys, ABC, your shows that you try to trick us, because y'all try to trick us with Nashville. Y'all tried to trick us into watching Nashville. Y'all thought we were going to see the, the, the title, Think of Dallas, which we did. And come running. No. Nashville is not Dallas. Okay? It will never be Dallas. I don't care about this little girl who wants to sing or whatever she is. And the old lady who's been singing and they're fighting with each other. I don't care. Okay? I don't care. And the people don't care either. Which is why, once again, these shows... See, we like to tease you guys. You, you put your shows out and for like the first week, first day, they are getting decent, not great, but decent ratings. And then we just stomp on them. Then we just stomp on them and they're done. They're done. Nashville, you are another one that is going to be done. Only because you will never be Dallas. Ever. So, number seven in our countdown to this new year is the primetime shows. The primetime shows and the junk that they are putting out now with our primetime stuff. Not only have they destroyed our television in the day, our television at night has been destroyed too. I'm about two seconds away from just throwing the TV out the window. Talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Hey, let's talk about so. Hey, let's talk about so.